We human beings are the only creatures on the planet Earth that are born into a natural state of disorientation with our world. That is, while all other creatures are guided by instinct of which they're neither aware nor have the capacity to question, each of us as human creatures was given the godlike power to create his or her own life. And each of us does exactly that all the years of his or her life. Every day we put in place actions and ideas that will determine the shape and substance of our tomorrows. Success or failure as a human being is not a matter of luck or circumstance or fate or the breaks or who you know or any of the other tiresome old myths and cliches by which the ignorant tend to excuse themselves. It's a matter of following a common sense paradigm of rules. So let me tell you this. We said to have an extraordinary life, you gotta have an extraordinary psychology, right? Extraordinary psychology means you gotta live in an extraordinary state. To be in an extraordinary state, you gotta condition your nervous system, your body, your physiology and focus to be at their best. Then to do that though, you can do that. Why doesn't everybody? Not because you can't. We all have the ability. It's because of our standards. You and I are responsible for our lives. You and I produce causes all day long, every day of our lives. The environment can only return to us a corresponding effect. That's why I say each of us determines the quality of his or her own life. We get back what we put out. We become what we think about. All of us are self-made, but only the successful will admit it. In order to be successful, you must be willing to do the things today others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. Your mind is a machine. You must program yourself for success. There's more in you than you have been expressing. And I say to you, there's more in you right now than's represented in your bank account. There's more in you right now that's being reflected by your life right now. Your life is not a true reflection of your potential. You have greatness within you. You have the ability to do more than you can ever begin to imagine. That how people live their lives is a result of their state of mind. It has been said, you don't get in life what you want, you get in life what you are. That our surroundings will always reflect us. That our environment is a mirror, often a merciless mirror, of ourselves. As soon as a person begins to change, his or her surroundings will change. And it works like this. Great attitude, great results. Good attitude, good results. Fair or average attitude, fair or average results. Poor attitude, poor results. And when you make the decision and identify that key area of your life that you need to make a radical change, things will begin to open up for you. In order for us to begin to break into that level of greatness that we have within ourselves, you have to make a conscious choice every day to expose your mind to positive messages. A person can be very efficient at his or her work, but if the corresponding excellent attitude isn't present, well, the person's a failure. A robot can do a great job, but only a human being can ennoble work with a great attitude and by so doing touch it with the magic of humanness. Make it come alive and sing. Make it truly worthwhile. That, my friend, makes the difference. Successful people come in all sizes, shapes, ages and colors and in widely varying degrees of intelligence and education. But they have one thing in common. They expect more good out of life than bad. They expect to succeed more often than they fail. And they do. Life is a fight for territory. And once, once you stop fighting for what you want, what you don't want will automatically take over. The second part of it, you got to know P, why you're doing it. Because you know what, you may get a big goal as soon as I want to make a billion dollars. I want to bring peace to the earth. Why? Because as soon as you come up with a goal, all the obstacles show up. And unless you've got enough emotional drive to break through that, you're never going to discover what it really takes. But when you decide what's most important to you, your brain goes after it. Very often you're getting what you're asking for, you're just not aware of how general you're asking. Clarity is power. The more clear you are about exactly what it is you want, the more your brain knows how to get there. As to luck, forget it. 
Luck is what happens when preparedness meets opportunity. And opportunity is there all the time. Don't try to run away from your troubles. Overcome them. Prevail right where you are. What we're really after is not escape from our perplexities and frustrations, but a triumph over them. And one of the best ways to accomplish that is to get on course and stay there. Restate and reaffirm your goal, the thing you want most to do, the place in life you want most to reach. Thank you.